Well, hello there, YouTube. It's long past midnight, so I'll be brief, hopefully. Uh, the thing with having little kids at home is that by the end of the weekend you're so tired that you're actually... you don't mind coming back to work on Monday. Uh, but anyways, uh, the New Year festivities are officially over. Uh, the last straw for us Russians is the old New Year. Yeah, that, that's actually a thing here. That's the New Year by the old Julian calendar that was used by the church. It was actually... Uh, introduced by Caesar. <laughs> but anyways, no one's really celebrating it, but it still counts. And I just wanted to make a quick uh, show and tell on what did I receive pipe-wise for New Year. Uh, well, first and foremost, the pipe, <laughs> if you can call it that. It was listed as a pipe kit or pipe blank uh, in the store where I purchased it. Uh, it's a web store based in St. Petersburg. I'm gonna actually show you the pipe closer. The ouch, 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 ouch. Focus. So as you can see, the it's a very very rough but perfectly smokable construction contraption <laughs> and the mouthpiece is also damn it the mouthpiece is also not perfect it needs work badly but so I'm not gonna smoke it as is but I'll try to work on it I won't make any fill okay won't make any fills definitely but I'll try to polish and smooth it out more so that will be a fun project and apart from that I got a tin of Sutliff's Great Outdoors <laughs> which was actually uh, pipe tobacco that I uh, I gifted a can just like that to one of my teachers and I just wanted to know what I I, I haven't smoked it I haven't smoked it uh, so I wanted to know what exactly was it what did I what was the, what was my gift was it was it really a good gift so we'll try that but not now, because I have plenty of tobacco to smoke. And I got a bunch of samples. I'll cycle for them quickly. First one is Traveler's Dream by, by Stanislaw Pipe Tobacco. Next up, the uh, Gaweth and Hoggart coffee caramel pretty famous I haven't tried any of these by the way next up uh, Gaweth and Hoggart rum flake then the earth mixture by Samuel Galwith alongside Stanislaw pipe tobacco I don't know really okay then Bob's chocolate flake and finally, the fire dance flake. By the way, uh, if anyone wanted to know how uh, does the Russian version of the uh, health and safety label looks like, that's it. This is it. It basically says "kurenie uh, ubivayet," which means smoking kills. Uh, and for all of you squeamish people. They usually add some uh, 
god awful picture on the back. We have some horrible diseases, amputations, etc., etc. I am squeamish, so I usually just <laughs> black it out. This one will be number six, I'm writing it down. And the reason for making it number six, see these are numbered six, five, etc. I want to make I, I have uh, no idea how to choose one, so I'm gonna roll for it. I'm gonna take a d6, a computerized version of d6. One moment. We'll roll it and I'll adhere to the dice, basically. I'm actually gonna show it to you, you will see it first. So, that's the dice in the center. Let's shake on that and see what comes up. Two. Okay. Two it is. Second one was coughing caramel. Four. I suppose it's a good choice for starters. I don't know how smelly it will be. So we'll see about that. <laughs> One moment. Is it open? Yeah, it is. Let's see. You probably don't see it, I think. But it smells. Hmm. It smells interesting. I'm not getting coffee. It's pretty, pretty decent moisture. I'm getting the caramel, that's for sure. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. Give me a sec. What does what do the kind people at Tobacco Reviews say? Coffee caramel, so it's black Cavendish based, flavored with caramel and coffee. Okay. Average review 2.9, almost 3. Well, let's see about that. I took the smallest pipe I have, which is just a small Missouri Mirsham cob. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna open the window. Because I'm not really allowed to smoke inside. But we'll try. It's been very warm recently here in Moscow. <laughs> I'm rubbing everything off camera because I'm just too much in a hurry. Gotta go to sleep. It is. I can't say it, it's moist, but it's just. It's definitely spongy. More than enough, actually. <laughs> Come on. Call it a charring light for now.
even if, even if I sense the flavoring, it's very, very mild, not just in your face like some cheap over-the-counter aromatic, just the tobacco itself is pretty smooth. Damn it. <laughs> Can it keep it lit? Mm. Now I'm starting to sense coffee. some drying time. I <coughs> overestimated. definitely sense coffee and the caramel not so much but it burns okay once you get it going the texture is nice and the smell is nice There we have it, first new new blend of 2017 for me. Mm, if I have something else to say about this one, I'll let you know. Otherwise, stay tuned, I'll open them I roll again next time when I feel like trying something new, but for the moment, have a good have a good day, have a good night, and I will be back soon with more videos several are in the pipeline i'm just working on editing them so so on so forth for the moment it was nice seeing you see you goodbye